kitchen a little bit. I like to do my chores like in the morning just so I can get it done with, you know. Made some banana bread. It was pretty good. Um, I need an iced coffee, so we're gonna get iced coffee. I'm pretty sad though could be because Mako really wants to go for a walk, you know, and it's his birthday and I wanted to take him for like a really good walk this morning. And it's 80% chance of rain and it just started raining, so I feel bad for him because he's just looking at me now like, Mom, hello. I swear I need to get him like a coat or something because he doesn't care if it's raining and I don't care if it's raining, like if it's just sprinkling, but anyways, my iced coffee is really simple. I'm only going to have this much because I've already drank one, so I'm not allowed to have a lot of caffeine, okay? Okay. These are my nails for Easter. I thought pastel pink would be cute, um, but this is not cute. I burnt myself um, in several places, but it's all good. I love this stuff, this cold foam creamer. It's pretty simple. And I like a lot of it, so don't come for me, but this is just how I like it. I like it to be stirred up a little bit more, but. <laughs> There's the birthday boy. Hi, baby. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. You're seven years old. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. Are you a big boy? No. No, you're a little boy. Happy birthday, baby. Mommy loves you so much. Okay, y'all, I'm a little bit late on the whole Easter decoration thing, but I put this up from the Dollar Tree. I thought it was cute. And then I have this egg. I got it somewhere last year. It's a candle, but I never burn it. It's really cute. And then I just have like the lights up like I always do. Um, and then I have this thing that says Easter. I think it's pretty cute. I didn't put all of my decorations up this year because honestly I was late and whatever, but it's a little vibe. I just got lunch. I got Chick-fil-A. Um, Mako already ate some of his lunch. I'm going to chill and watch. Um, I'm re-watching Bad Girls ATL. I know it's old, but I haven't seen it in a while. So That's what I'm going to be watching. I'm going to eat my lunch. And then I got these for Mako. He loves steak. And I don't usually give him stuff like this. But this has no rawhide, so hopefully it's okay. So we're gonna give Mako one. Wait. But yeah, I'm gonna finish my lunch and watch the bad girls. And Mako's just chilling with me. Okay, so tonight we're going with some leftovers for dinner. I made this last night and it actually turned out to be one of our favorite meals. So basically this is what I call like shepherd's pie. I don't know <laughs> if you guys would consider that this, but basically it looks kind of crazy right now because I haven't heated it up yet, but basically it's just ground beef with vegetables, onions, stuff like that. Then I made garlic homemade mashed potatoes and put cheese on top. 
So I'm just going to put the oven on 400 and preheat that. And when it's done, I'm going to pop this in there for like 10 minutes or so, and then it should be warm. Okay, now that that's preheated, I'm just going to pop that in. I'm going to put a timer on. I'm going to set alarm, and I'm going to take me a quick shower. I'm actually going to put the cooking timer on for 15 minutes because I actually need to take a quick shower. So 15 minutes should be enough. <laughs> and then afterwards, I'm going to take Mako for a walk. Yeah, you want to go for a walk? Yeah. If you're wondering why I chose to wait after dinner to take him, it's because it was raining all day, wasn't it? Raining all day. And then as well, it's just too hot here in Florida. And so we have to kind of wait for the sun to go down to take long walks. If not, it's just a short walk and then it's kind of pointless. So I'm going to go hop in the shower. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. So it is the next day. Um, my throat started to hurt last night, so I'm not feeling the best this morning, but I'm sure you can maybe hear it in my voice, but um, I've just been a little bit under the weather this morning. I just got me a pre-made coffee because I didn't feel like, I just didn't feel like it. And um, I don't know I just looked in the mirror this morning because I was putting on makeup for once like I don't put on makeup every single day but I was just looking at my hair and I'm so unhappy with my hair like it looks so bad like there's this huge spot of brown in it right here like my roots are treacherous like literally because my hair keeps growing so so fast like I cut it off like maybe a couple weeks back a maybe a few a couple months at the most and it's already grown inches like it's crazy but I'm just like really unhappy with my hair right now I'm at that point where I don't know what to do with it like I'm tired of the blonde ruining my hair like the bleach ruining my hair because I already have very thin, fragile hair, so it's just, it's giving, my hair is not going to last much longer, you feel me? So, I don't know, if anyone, I wouldn't be totally opposed to putting brown in my hair because the top of my hair is dirty, dirty blonde, but it's pretty close. I mean, right here it looks really dark, but in the sun it's like almost dirty blonde. But I don't know, if you have any ideas of what I should do to keep this less maintenance. Like, I just don't want to keep bleaching it, but I also don't want my whole head to be brown. So maybe I should put like some brown highlights or low lights, sorry. I don't know I just I love my blonde hair but it can't it cannot go on but yeah um so anyways 
I'm having a slow morning, but the burn's still here. It's healing though. Yeah, I'm just like really unhappy with how I look right now. My hair looks awful. I, I, I have to do something, so. Oh no, I gotta figure that out. But that's honestly the least of my worries. It was just something that I really thought about this morning. Um, it's better weather today. It is a little bit colder. Um, maybe that's why I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I'm like 80 degrees to freaking cold again this morning. That's just how Florida is. So. I'm gonna wake up and just kind of chill this morning. Um, I'm gonna do some of my live streams. Honestly, you guys, I have to tell you this. This Banana Bread Huda Beauty powder, I got the travel size because I just wanted to try it. And then, honestly, this is the perfect thing for like under your eye area or like just where you wanna press the powder. I really like it, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cute. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wake up. I have to go drop off some dry cleaning and pick some up, and then, um, I'm gonna start my live stream. Um, I already did a couple chores around the house, and I'm gonna take Mako for a walk since it's nice weather today and it's not too hot. But, yeah, I'll catch back up with you guys later. Okay. So basically, my goal is because we don't have a long winter here in Florida. It's besides the bipolar weather right now, we're pretty much already in summer. So what I'm doing is I got these because I won't be touching any of my winter clothes for a long time. So. I got these really nice uh, organizers off of Amazon. They're huge and they fit so much. So I packed all of my, well, I have another one that's a little bit smaller. I'm still packing up, but most of my summer clothes are packed up. So, and then I'm going to put that at the bottom of my closet and then but also, oh yeah, also I want to show you guys these pants that I have on. I'm sure you've seen them on TikTok or somewhere. Someone has them, but they're the ones that go like this and they're big at the bottom. Let's see if I can get a fuller view for you. Yeah. But, and I also have another pair, and I love these so much. You know how you get, like, a medium, and you're like, okay, I'm a medium, and you get them, and you're like, they literally squeeze your stomach so hard it leaves marks right here. Like, I don't have any marks. These are so giving and comfortable. I got a size medium. But I have these in a couple different colors and honestly I want more because I would live in these like I just love these pants and they're not see-through so yeah really cute I just washed my pillowcases all my towels and stuff like that so that's what I'm holding and then I got some summer clothes that I pulled out and washed and folded I almost got my clothes all organized which makes me pretty excited so I can redo my closet soon but yeah I'm watching the baddies Caribbean auditions <laughs> But I'm watching it on my phone because I'm weird. Like, there's a TV right behind me, but I'd rather just watch it on my phone. So I can take it with me while I'm, like, cleaning and stuff. 
I don't know what I'm having for dinner, honestly. I'm gonna have to go to the grocery store either today or tomorrow to get groceries, but... such a long day I'm ready to take this makeup or what's left of my makeup off I use makeup wipes to like get most of my eye stuff off and then I wash my face to get the rest
just had his um, egg. I usually give him one egg a day, um, along with his food, of course. Um, sorry if the lighting's bad. This is just what it is. Uh, I get these kind. I don't know. And then all I do is put them in the air fryer. Um, I put them on 200 degrees. 200. I'm going to do 16 minutes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just, um... You can give them, I'm pretty sure you can give dogs like raw egg and all that. My old dog that I had used to eat raw egg, but Mika doesn't like the texture of it. I don't know, he's spoiled, so he likes me to cook his eggs, so it's just the easy way to do it, and they're ready in 16 minutes, and then he'll have an egg for every morning. I just need to get some more groceries. I still need to go grocery shopping. I'm going to do that either later today or tomorrow morning. But, yeah. And I just took them out after they're done and I put them in ice water. Okay, now I'm just going to peel them with a spoon. Um, this is the easiest way for me to do it. If you have another way, that's cool. I started a couple days ago making summer scents. So that's what some of this is, just my wax melts. These are my little sample wax melts. Um, and then we have like the bigger candles and some more candles. I have all my oils. But yeah, I'm just getting it stocked back up for the summer. Okay, I made myself chicken nuggies with some french fries for lunch. Yes, I eat like a freaking five-year-old. But it's good. I'm just so upset with my hair. You guys, you're gonna think I'm crazy. I just said this too. I'm like, my hair is dead from the bleach. What I do, I ordered more bleach because I don't know what else to do. If I dye my hair brown, it gets annoying because my dirty blonde comes up like out the top two days later. So I don't look like a natural brown brunette. But I don't look like a natural full blonde, so like, it's annoying and I don't know what to do. So, I'm just going to try to like do some highlights. <laughs> Here, I'm going to try. I'm going to do it with a mm, uh, lower volume developer. So that it doesn't, because my hair is very easy to lift because it's already dirty blonde. So, like, I don't feel like I need to, like, damage it that much. So, I'm just going to do, like, 20 volume or something. And I'm going to try to hit the spots and kind of, like, I don't know, just make it blend or something. I mean, I have extensions. I could just put those in, but...
I want to be happy with my natural hair. Like, I don't even know what my hair color is anymore. But yeah, I'll figure it out. I just got out of the shower. And I am just... First, I look like crap, but... Second of all, I'm just really over my hair. Until I fix it, I'm literally going to wrap it up until I get the toner and bleach I use this pure Brazilian stuff. I don't know. My hair is just getting on my fucking nerves. Like, for real. I might dye it brown. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna leave my hair wrapped for the next day until I get um, my dye and my toner in because I'm just not feeling my hair right now. I'm just not feeling it. I put a really good hair treatment in it too. So hopefully. And y'all, I've been thinking about really getting some filler on my top lip. I don't know if I said that in another vlog, but I really have been thinking about it. Because my bottom lip is perfect for me. But my top lip is just not giving the same. Oh, uh -huh. My skin's giving me problems, but I know... It always happens around this time. Um, and the allergies are killing me here in Florida already. So that's why I was like yesterday, I think, or this morning, I said I was feeling under the weather. It's definitely my allergies. I've been blowing my nose all day. My sinuses are effed up. But other than that, I was rubbing some. This is what I've been using. I'm almost out of it, but um, this is the CEO Glow from Sunday Riley. It's a vitamin C and turmeric oil I really like turmeric because I know it brightens your skin but um I don't know I heard someone say that like the key to preventing wrinkles is two ingredients vitamin c and retinol like those are the two things that you really need to prevent wrinkles so I really took that into consideration I've been using vitamin c oil and I've been using retinol cream during the night because here in Florida we have too much sun and like if you can't just like, yeah, with the sun, it'll burn you, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm just rambling. I'm just feeling like crap, but it's just a little allergies, so nothing crazy. But I'm going to go finish folding my clothes and then I'm going to figure out what I'm making for dinner um so yeah, it's the next morning i got the bleach i got this i got a different kind this time i got this kind um so wish me the best <laughs> doesn't turn out good i'm i'm really debating 
on dyeing my hair brown. I don't know. We're gonna see. <laughs>